worried about breast implants and lymphoma. This patient was, so she came from out of town after an MRI in Canada showed concern for possible breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma or BIAALCL is a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that involves the tissue around the breast implant. It happens almost entirely in textured breast implants and is actually a cancer of the immune system. It is not a breast cancer. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, the lifetime risk of developing BIAALCL in a patient with textured breast implants is somewhere between one in 2200 and one in 86,000. The number's a huge gap because it's a really rare disease. And it can happen in patients whether or not they have silicone or saline implants or the breast implants were used for breast cancer reconstruction or cosmetic surgery. Common symptoms include an enlarged or hardening breast, breast pain, asymmetry, a breast rash, or a fluid collection around the breast implants often diagnosed with breast imaging. Our patient had all these symptoms. This is why it's important to follow up long-term with your board-certified plastic surgeon. And if you develop any of these symptoms or a concern for breast implant-associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, you need to see your board-certified plastic surgeon. Breast imaging can be very valuable as it can help pick up a lump in the breast or axilla or a fluid collection around the breast implant. And if this is the case, this tissue needs to be sent for CD30 immune testing. Without CD30 testing, unfortunately, you could possibly miss the diagnosis. And that's what we did for this patient. During her total intact capsulectomy, we obtained the fluid, we sent it for cytology and the tissue to pathology. Fortunately, all the CD30 testing was benign, everything was benign, and she got a really nice result after a breast lift and fat transfer where fat was harvested circumferentially from her abdomen at the same time. It's really important though for patients to see a board certified plastic surgeon because a positive diagnosis for breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma can often be successfully treated with the appropriate surgery.